Hello everyone, welcome to ARU Radiology. So I'll be talking about the various types of identifications which can be asked in your university exams and all. So this is for the first year students, they can ask. So the uh, given image to you is a image of a safe light test. So what is the purpose of the safe light test? The safe light test is taken in the dark room to rule out whether there is a proper use of the safe light. The safe light, what does the term safe light means? The safe light means that this is the light which is safe and under this light if we process the flame also the flame will not get damaged or exposed. So this is an radiograph of a safe light test. The next thing which we see is a cassette which is open and it is showing the intensifying screen. So what is intensifying screen? These are the screens which is used to reflect where X-ray uh, photons will fall on the screen and it will form the light. And through this light, our radiographic Latin images are formed on the frame. So this is a cassette. It is showing the back side of the cassette. The back side of the cassette is made up of lead. And this, what is the purpose of the light? Why there is a light in the back side of the cassette? The, the purpose of the light is it prevents the backscattered radiation. So the cassette front side will be uh, having the low atomic number materials like a scoreboard, plastic. And what is the size of the cassette? The size of the cassette will be measured in centimeter and inches. When it is a mammography cassette, this cassette always will come in a centimeter. The cassette which we see here is a screen flame cassette. So you can see here these are the extra flames and this cassette is a screen flame cassette. It was used in conventional radiographic technique. Next we can see here is a dental hanger. This is a multi clip hanger. So what is the purpose of the single hangers, extra flame hangers and these hangers? Here you can place multiple flames at a time. Multiple, more than one flames can be placed here. So this is made up of stainless steel. This is a channel type of hanger. This are having the extension bars. These extension bars are used uh, to hold the extra flames in the tank. By this you can put, it will not get dropped. There is an enter channels are there and with a side hose to drain out the excess uh, solutions and there is a gap also you can see within the hanger this is made of stainless steel so that the entire flame gets dipped so if this there should not there is no gap between the bar and the uh, hanger hangers so the our upper portion of the extra flames would remain uh, undeveloped so for this so the entire flame get developed properly there is a minimum of the gap this is also made up of stainless steel this is a characteristic curve which shows the um, log of exposure in relative to density means how well our images are formed. It has three reasons. This is the toe, this is a straight line or gamma and this is a shoulder reason. So our, always the, the uh, when we are processing the image they should come in a sigmoid shape. The straight line will indicate that the exposure is optimal. And after this, the curve goes down and that is called as the solarization or reverse. If X densities are more like 5, 6, the curve will go down. Optical densities. So these are our uh, developer uh, solution powder. So these all solutions we are mixing in the, uh, these are uh, solution powders we are mixing. Then this is a developer solution and powder, which we mix in 9 liter water and we make the solution. So this is the solution packets. This can come in uh, powder form, this comes in a liquid form. The liquid forms are used in automatic processor and the powder forms we are using in the dark room processor. This is a view box, this is a view box which has a uh, fluorescent screen and the view box purpose is to see the radiographs where the proper density is, image qualities and all we see with the help of view box. This is a lead divider or we can say x-ray flame blocker. This will block the X radiations where uh, wherever we will put on the flame side of the, above the cassette that area will be blocked and so no radiations will come there it will prevent the flame from getting exposed and whatever radiographs we take it will prevent that so it helps us to take two images simultaneously in an X-ray flame so this is a lead blocker it is made up of lead equivalent material so write the procedure for wire mesh test tool so what is a wire mesh test tool? This is used to see the flame screen contact test which will be coming in our upcoming videos. The flame screen contact test says that whether there is a good contact between flame and screen and if there is no good contact between the flame and screen what is going to happen here is that uh, our uh, flames will get exposed before we take the radiograph. So stay tuned with us. So this is one of the...
Till then, enjoy Shubratri. Good night. Stay tuned with RU. RU will make your radiology, civil service exam, and anatomy very easy. Good night. If you like the session, please press like. I will be not so much classy. No thumbnails and all will be there because I'm not good in editing. But I will definitely make your subjects easy.